All right, so uh, we're going to start uh, building some circuits in class, and so we need to <laughs> know how to build a circuit. That's the first step. Know what you're doing. The first thing we're going to talk about is what's called a voltage divider, which is uh, one of the sort of building blocks of uh, most instrumentation circuits. Um, and so we're going to talk a little bit about circuit theory here and go back over hopefully what's a review for three of the key equations for uh, circuit analysis, Ohm's law, uh, which relates uh, the potential, that is what's pushing the current, uh, to the resistance and then tells us what our actual current, I, is. Uh, and then Kirchhoff's two laws, the junction rule uh, and the loop rule, uh, which basically say this one just tells us the same number of electrons that move into a junction have to leave that junction. Uh, and this one tells us that in a, any loop in a circuit, uh, we have to get back to the same voltage that we started with. Um, and so there's those are pretty um, fundamental ways of understanding uh, how a circuit works. So let's talk a little bit about those just in case this isn't so much review. So what are those three, how do those equa core equations work uh, in this simple circuit here? Well, in this circuit, we've got a power source, some sort of battery or other uh, DC power source uh, with a positive voltage and a negative voltage. And so remember voltage is uh, about potential. It's um, kind of thinking of it as this is the top of the hill uh, and this is the bottom of the hill and it's those electrons want to move uh, in that circuit to get from the top of the hill to the bottom. So we can think of this as kind of energy. The electrons have a lot of energy here uh, and they want to move towards that low energy space. That pushes, because of that difference in voltage here, that pushes electrons as current through our circuit. Uh, and at each resistor, um, each that current has to kind of fight through the resistance. So think of a resistor as, as resistance, right? It's trying to keep those electrons from going through. And so those electrons, which have a lot of energy here, um, lose some of that energy as they push through the resistance. So you get what's called a voltage drop. So if our voltage here was 10 volts and our ground down here was zero volts, uh, we might drop some of that 10 volts, that energy, uh, and then have the electrons might only have six volts of energy at this middle point. Um, then you would have a second voltage drop here uh, as we move through the second resistor. And notice that this is just a rearrangement of Ohm's law, right? This is just telling us that the voltage drop has to do, do with how much current is going through there uh, and with how much resistance there is to that current. The wires, on the other hand, offer no resistance. So we don't have a voltage drop as long as things are connected by wire. And that seems uh, maybe obvious, but it's really important when we start looking at circuit diagrams because we can say, okay, anytime I've connected two points with a wire, my voltage is the same. So my voltage here will always be the same as my voltage over here because I don't have a voltage drop between them. And then finally, the loop rule here tells us that we have to end up with the same voltage um, that we started with as we go through a loop. So this loop consists of going through our power source, through one resistor and through a second resistor. Uh, if this is a 10 volt battery, then it means my voltage jumps from zero to 10. So that's a positive 10. And then I'm gonna have a voltage drop of say six here to get to four volts here. Um, that means I have to have a voltage drop of four volts here in order to get back to zero. Okay. so. That's a conservation of energy thing. We can't have, we can't go through, uh, have the current moving through this loop constantly gaining or losing energy. That wouldn't make, uh, that wouldn't make sense with conservation of energy. So that's just a quick review of very simple circuit um, of the role of current, resistance, um, and voltage drop.